Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Holland. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. I haven't done a vlog in like a month. I do miss making them. I just have been so busy with school and kind of, I know it's loud outside. I should close the window, but I'm not going to because it is so hot in here. My apartment, it's so gorgeous, but it's so hot and there is like no ventilation. So if I close that window, I will pass out. So, sorry, we'll have to deal with the noise. A little life update. I told my landlord, like I gave him my, my notice. Breaks my heart, but I just really don't want to give up this apartment, but I just, there's no way to like logically keep it and live in another country. <laughs> so, giving it up. I've also been looking for apartments in LA. Um, I actually booked a trip to LA June 2nd to 4th. Two, three, four, I think, or three, four, five. I don't know. My sister is supposed to come and we're gonna look at apartments together. I'm super anxious about giving up this apartment, so I'm like, I just need to find a new one and I'll feel good. But more on that when I actually go to LA. For this video, I just wanted to film um, and go over jeans that I've been loving lately. I know that it's so hard for women with like curves to find jeans that fit them and I feel like I've been looking for jeans for like a lifetime. For me, I consider jeans an investment piece. I think if you find a good pair um, with, that are good quality, they can last so long. So I'm super sweaty, although I am doing my makeup now so that I'm not actually, like I'm going for a glowy, like glazed donut look and I haven't been like powdering, like putting much powder on except for under my eyes. So there's that, but also it's like 30 degrees outside and my apartment is poorly ventilated and I am trying on jeans for this video so it's very I'm very shiny um but yeah I think if you're willing to spend a bit more money you can really find a pair that fits you well and lasts a long time and so that's kind of the mindset I use to look for these jeans and I really like them and I'm going to share them because they they fit my hips I think a lot of women especially with a bit of curves and I'm not even like the curviest of curvy I think women just have a hard time finding jeans that fit both their that fit both their waist and their hips at the same time it'll be like either fitted in the waist but super tight on the hips or fitted in the hips and then really wide or baggy around the waist so I think these jeans don't really do that and they are super flattering so I'm going to show them on here. Oh my God, I think I'm sweating through my top. It is so hot. I'm just gonna sweat through everything anyways so we're just gonna have to deal with it. I do just want to start off by saying that I am a strong advocate for sustainable shopping whether that be buying a second hand or buying from companies that um, upcycle or um, just like brands that properly pay um, their suppliers and the people that work for them and basically things that aren't fast fashion like I don't shop at Zara I don't shop at H&M also you can just like tell the quality is not as good at these places and I, I know they're like they're definitely more affordable options and I am very lucky um, that I can well kind of <laughs> afford to spend a bit more money on um, these pieces that are more sustainable but I think everyone kind of knows that fast fashion is just bad for the environment and for communities and people and places should be get paid properly anyways I won't um, get into that too much in this video but these jeans are a higher price point um, but I think it just reflects the uh, sustainability of these companies and what they represent um, that doesn't always mean that they're like brand names like one of them is actually a small female owned business it's just important to and like worth it to just spend a bit more money on on clothing that supports communities and people and can also be better quality and last longer for you so you're not having to repurchase clothing items because the ones that you have bought were although cheaper also like disposable so anyways that's my rant i'm gonna try on some jeans but yeah no so i definitely sweat through that last top i was wearing in just those few minutes that i was talking on camera so don't be surprised if i am wearing a new shirt every time i try on these jeans first pair i'm gonna try on or i'm gonna show you guys is are the a goldie luna pieced uh high rise denim so you said them i have I've probably seen them on my Instagram, but they are high rise, button fly, um, wide leg, but they taper at the bottom. They just really 
a common like they're super flattering because they're high-waisted which I do love about a Goldie jeans I find that they are quite um, like structured around here but that being said a lot of the time like in the Goldie like 90s I find that they're quite tight in the hips but I don't know if it's because these ones have like this paneling I don't know if you can see it but um, this like paneling here and it just kind of like I feel like it just adds extra fabric or something to the hip area so it fits my waist super well like you can see from the back like it like hugs my waist but then it's also just like baggy around the hips not like baggy but loose these are them yeah i got them in a size 27. yeah i'd say typically i'm just between like a size 27 28 or so 27 right now and i did order a 28 in these just to see the 28 were just like a bit they did fit well but they i just wanted something a bit more fitted um so i went with the 27 and they fit perfectly also they have like i don't know if i mentioned this i don't think i did but they have like a raw hem which I love. And I think they're supposed to just be to the ankle, but I'm 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, they are the perfect length for me. I'm super happy. I actually wish they were maybe like half an inch longer, but that's fine. So I don't know if there's any like tall girls that might be bothered by these, but yeah, these are them. I love them. They're so comfortable too. They are like a stiff denim, but I find that with stiff denim over time, like they do conform to your shape a lot better. Um, and they're just so comfortable. So I wear them to like coffee shops all the time. Okay, the next pair are the Tibby Sid Jean. I think, I think it's pronounced Tibby. It's T-I-B-I, Sid Jean. They are a, they are a wide leg silhouette with a balloon like shape. Gets tighter as it hits the floor. They are also like a drop crotch, like very, is that how you say it? Drop crotch, <laughs> drop, drop crotch. I just got Botox done on my upper lip and I just like can't even talk properly. Yeah, like a, a drop crotch, like kind of low rise, like mid low rise. Very like model off duty, like Hailey Bieber vibes. Anyways, I'll show you. I might buy them in another color. These are them. They're in the classic wash. I literally wear these all the time i got a size 27 when i first got them i was like oh these fit perfectly so i just kept them but like they kind of stretched out as i wore them more so i wish i sized down to a 26 but i still love them i think they're just like so unique um i they're like for this sounds really corny but for me they're like a work of art because they're just i feel like they're very different at least for me like they do balloon out, but they have like, and they have these, wait for the sirens to go back. Okay. I just like love the silhouette it gives, so cool girl. Because they're a bit bigger for me, I can kind of like pull them down a bit and they are more like low waisted or mid, which I know some people are very like anti low waist, but I do like the vibe. Like I really want, I think like a white denim and they come in like, an off-white color. I really want to buy them, but I wish they were like white, white. But honestly, I might order them and fall in love with like the off-white versus the strict white. I don't know, but they're so, they're perfect. Okay, sorry, my camera died, melted. It literally said it was too hot and shut down. The last of my top three pairs of jeans I have right now are my Ally Grace jeans. They are custom Levi's. So shop Ally Grace is a, independent like small business based out of LA and basically it's like this 20 something year old who takes old Levi's customizes them to the measurements that you send her her Instagram I'll, I'm gonna link all of this below but her Instagram is at shop Allie Grace and basically yeah she opens her customs every I think like six weeks and you just send her your measurements she lists out all the measurements that she needs and then you can also change things like pocket style these really cute like crooked pockets you can add like distressing throughout skirt or wide leg a distressed waistband like design your own custom levi's it's a little more expensive but it's so worth it because like they're levi's so they're good quality and they're being like made for your body and yeah like super sustainable because she upcycles old levi's and just makes them fit for your body so anyways these are the ones i think i got these like two years ago these are like my summer jeans because they're super light wash you also can like choose the wash obviously as well and i got like a really light wash 
Um, I got like this dressing on the waist here and like throughout. I also got them a bit longer so that I could roll them up at the bottom because I love that look. They're just so flattering because they're made for me. They're exactly what I wanted so I think that it was worth like every penny because yeah. I've had these for two years and they're still perfect. I know that she opened her customs um, May 12th. Last time she opened her customs they closed within like half an hour because she can only take so many orders like special orders at one time yeah small business female owned upcycles like super sustainable so i definitely support that she does like short skirts and like maternity and or she will be doing maternity cargo and everything just like whatever you want she will do it but yeah i really have to go because i'm actually going out for dinner in nine minutes and i don't know what i'm wearing because i am sweating through everything i put on and i know i wasn't i said i wasn't putting powder on my face but i think i have to at least the shirt lasted me the whole time, I think. I don't know, I can't really see if I sweat through it enough, but this is just how it's gonna be. Hey guys, kinda late for dinner, but I wanted to show my outfit. Um, we're going to Kisitanto, which is one of my favorite restaurants in Vancouver. It's like Japanese and Italian fusion. Um, really cute, you can, it's like fine dining, but you can kinda, you can get away with wearing whatever, like you can wear jeans and like, a t-shirt or you can totally dress up fancy for a birthday or something whatever you feel so i am wearing this black lace like bodysuit romper thing i got it for my i wore it for my birthday um i don't remember the brand but i got it from farfetch so i'll link it below and then i'm wearing it with like this um victoria's secret like black lacy bra obviously and the tibby jeans because i feel like again you can dress them up or down and aritzia belt and originally i would wear um heels with this to, to like dress it up a bit more but i'm just wearing ballet flats from steve madden um i just wanted to be comfortable i am so warm <laughs> like so hot and sweaty i'll probably put my hair up um and like ballet core is a thing um I think that's kind of a reach to call this ballet core, but with the ballet flats and the lace, but um, I just wanted to be comfortable. I actually went in my closet and I was like, okay, what can I wear that won't show that I am drenched in sweat right now? What won't show sweat? The answer was lace, and so that's what I'm wearing. Um, yeah, that's kind of it. Um, hope you guys have a good night. Bye. <laughs> hello hello happy sunday i am just getting ready to go out to coffee shop obviously it's like nine right now i usually just like to be at the coffee shop by like seven or eight o'clock and i probably won't get there until like 9 30 but it's fine it's i just got home later than i wanted to last night but it's like i feel like I have to force myself to go out to the to go out and be social but truthfully it was really good to just like catch up with an old friend who works in healthcare who like knows what i do and what i'm going through but yeah it was just really good to catch up with someone and talk to them and just like be social because i definitely get so caught up with school and i just feel like i'm too busy i'm too busy to go do anything but actually it's really good to just take a step back and separate yourself from the chaos and take a break and I definitely need that reminder quite often so this is a sign to be social for just like a couple hours one weekend and it'll help in the end I think. But yeah, I am obsessed with this lip stuff right now. I posted or I shared it on my stories on Instagram but it's the YSL lip balm, like lip shine volupe shine I don't know. they're so good they just they smell like sour watermelon sour watermelon gummies gummies candies yeah i got it in the shade one five well, wait, one five zero which is like a very pink it's what i'm wearing right now and i love it it's like i think it's just like universally flattering it's a lip balm but obviously like a tinted lip balm and i think it just looks so like it just makes your lips look so much better. I ended up also getting shade 151 which is more of a orange and then also shade 121 which is more of like a brown. That's them. 
but I'd say like if I were to only purchase like repurchase one I would get the 150 for sure I think like that pink one it's just so universally flattering but yeah that's it for this vlog thanks for watching next week I'll talk about like the fragrances that I'm really liking I'll also talk about I want to talk about either pediatrics because I'll be done my rotation by then or um, like pediatric cardiac surgery or I've been wanting to talk about like kind of going over cabbages so like coronary artery bypass graft surgery um, which is obviously more like adults because kids don't have like clogged arteries from years of smoking or like bad diet yeah I want to talk about one of those next week I'm not sure which one yet um, yeah hope you guys have a great week thanks for watching bye